Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the crypto market as a whole. So we do see that the market crash is finally getting fully recovered. We're not quite there, but we're getting very close. We see Bitcoin making its way into the green, 1% increase, 5% increase on Ethereum, making its way into that green. Binance BNB, 11% increase into 561. We're making big territory there, 1% increase on XRP as well. So we're seeing the top five coins in the crypto market with the highest market cap, all with massive increase increase is coming. I think we are going to continue to see green this entire week. I think we're going to have obviously oh, maybe a little dip here and there for the most part though. We are going to see a full recovery in the crypto market. I think that is definitely something a lot of people want to hear as we see Cardano very close to coming to that green side as well at only a 0.58% decrease in the last 24 hours. We see things like Chainlink already doing very well above $38 VChain like we said talked about it a lot on this channel. If you guys like any of these coins make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on and like the video as we talk about a lot of these coins quite often uh, and give price predictions on uh, you know pretty much every single coin on this front page so vchain chain link obviously doing big things like i said increasing very very well uh, we see theta as well is that what 1080 today let's take a look at theta so if we go into theta we see the market cap at 11.6 billion dollars so we see that there is much room for growth i could see a 5 billion stacked onto this theta price by the end of april alone i think that's definitely a possibility but if we take a look at this last week alone like i said we saw that market crash we saw it go to 928. We're already seeing a full recovery almost as I clicked the wrong uh, wrong thing there. But 1170 is where we're at right now. We're not at a full recovery quite yet. However, I will say we're getting on that track to a full recovery. I think we'll be at $13, $14 by the middle of May at the very, very latest. And we're continuing to see a lot of these coins do very, very well. Like I said, if we go back to the price chart here, we can see Link at 38.63. That's a very, very good price point for Link already. Considering we were just at you know 32.98, we're already seeing it with a 38.63. That's a great, great increase. We're seeing massive increases around the board, around the clock. And what does that lead us to believe? Well, a lot of it's because our top five high cap gems, <laughs> it's obviously everyone using the low cap gems term, uh, the top five, uh, you know, highest cap gems in the uh, Coinbase listings here, we see Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, BNB, and obviously XRP. Um, you know, we're seeing these these five here continuing to increase over the term. I'm using Ethereum and Ethereum 2 as uh, two different ones for some reason, but we're going to continue on. These top five are continuing to be green. And because of that, we're going to see major increases along with that, uh, you know, with some altcoins that have a big potential. Obviously, like I talked about, we talk about Theta, Chainlink, VeChain, Polkadot, very big ones. Obviously, Polkadot's still red. I do think that's going to be green here very soon. We can actually take a look at Polkadot, and it's just because it came from a higher point that uh, we're not seeing it green yet. We've seen a massive increase from that 3172 to 3539 just on its way to the green land. So the promised land's coming, guys. We're getting out of this red chunk in the last 48 hours or you know, even more than that at this point. We've been in the red. We're continuing to get out of that. And a lot of it leads to, like I said, looking back and checking on these bigger coins, big market caps, obviously 1.1 trillion market cap on that uh, Bitcoin itself. We're seeing it above 56,000. Obviously a green increase there. Ethereum as well, green in an increase. Binance BNB, also green. XRP, also green. These are all pumping and funding these lower, uh, you know, these lower coins that have real world value, real utility behind them, as well as unfortunately for those people holding Doge, Doge has uh, kind of taken a slight decrease today. We see a 12.22% decrease. So 34 cents on Dogecoin right now. Um, so Anyone holding Doge, beware, this might continue to go down, uh, and there's really no financial advice to be given. Definitely not on Doge. So do remember, guys, always do your own research before investing. I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but Dogecoin obviously decreasing is going to help every single other coin because, well, where else is that 44 0.3 billion dollars going to go well it's going to go into projects that have long-term potential most likely things like cardano things like Chainlink, things like v chain theta we're going to see increases across the board and i really believe this may be your last chance to buy some cheaper coins before we continue to see this recovery we see cardano you know by the end of the week maybe pumping right around that dollar 50 dollar 45 chain link by the you know end of the week we could see chain link at 44 45 dollars again we could see v chain pumping its new all-time high right around that 28 cents we could see theta making its way closer to 
$13 yet again. I think data will probably calm down most likely around that $12, $13 range though, because do remember the main net 3.0 is pretty far out yet. So we will continue to see theta do well, but uh, maybe not all the way to $15, but I think we will continue to see increases, like I said, for theta and T fuel. If we go down, we see things like Tron obviously making a comeback. Pretty much every price chart's looking fairly good. Obviously, things like that did very well during the crash are kind of crashing now, like Solana. Uh, if we take a look at Solana, this is a fairly interesting one because we saw it do very, very well pretty much right after the crash. It went straight up to $36, and now we're kind of seeing it stabilize out or correct a little bit. Um, but for the most part, you're seeing these coins increase. If you take a look at these price charts, so let's see Cardano, it's going quite you know, quite a ways up uh, since we're, you know, we left off with that market crash. If we take a look at Cardano, we saw it go all the way to a dollar fourteen. We're already at a dollar twenty-three. We're seeing this thing really start to push back everywhere along these price charts, and it does definitely come down to our big top five making green all across the board. A lot of people understanding this is a sign of, uh, you know, really the crypto markets are coming back on. They're coming back online, and we're going to see a lot of green across the board. There's a few more that I want to look at. So obviously we have Tron as another one that we talk about a lot on this channel, a $5.1 billion in the volume last 24 hours, a $9.4 billion market cap. This market cap is going to go way up, in my opinion, in the next couple of weeks. We're going to see a lot of new investors jumping in to Tron. If we take a look at the last week, though, we saw this thing dip all the way down, uh, you know, just still decreasing all the way down past 12 cents. We're already seeing this thing on the increase, making its way closer and closer to 14, 15 cents. We saw all the way up at almost 18 cents. So it was a quite a decrease and we're already seeing it move back up. Things like Tron are really showing us that, you know, we're on our way back up. We're on our way back to a healthy, uh, healthy spot for the crypto market. And I'm not going to say this is going to fully recover us because we could still see, you know, prices that aren't great. We could still see some red days this week. It's not going to be a full recovery, uh, potentially for all coins. However, some coins I think are going to fully recover. And if we take a look at the top five, like I said, we're seeing Bitcoin just under a percentage uh, now, uh, for an increase. Ethereum's doing very well, almost to $2,300 BNB, obviously, like I said, doing very well, $575 and then XRP up a cent as well, or sorry, a percentage as well. Um, you know, XLM is now green. If we take a look at the gainers, we looked this morning, there was pretty much no gainers. Um, there's, I'd say, you know, eight or 10 gainers. Now we have two page, 46 assets of gainers. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of green in the market right now, a lot of increasing going on. This may be, like I said, your last chance to get in at a decent discount on some of these coins. Decentraland pumping very well, almost to 18% increase. Uh, so hopefully you guys were able to jump in on that. We can take a look at this one as well. We saw this one go down very, very solidly, sharply up down to the uh, $1.16 mark. And, uh, you know, even had some struggles here on the second dip, about $1.19. And now we're seeing at a $1.45, a 17.83% increase, just massive. Uh, we're seeing massive, massive prices across the board. If we take a look at the losers, there's still some in the losers, obviously. Dogecoin is being one of the highest losers now. Obviously, that's going to fuel a lot of these other altcoins that have real world purpose and real world use. We're going to see a lot of utility to tokens do very, very well in the upcoming few days as uh, Doge holders probably start to bail out, maybe go to things like SafeMoon. Um, as well as the, some of those other pump and uh, maybe dumps uh, in the future. So as we go down a little bit more, we still see a lot of red, obviously, but not near as much as we actually have more gainers now than losers. We have a 36 assets in the loser section. And for the most part, a lot more gainers. We have a total of 46, like I said, in the gainer section. So we are starting to see a lot more gainers in the market. So do do beware, guys. This is looking very good for the crypto market. A lot of people are going to be excited to come, uh, you know, come home from work and see, you know, we're we're looking good. We're, we have, you know, a lot of increasing, a lot of recovery going on. So if you guys bought the dip, it's looking good for anyone who really bought that bottom barrel of the dip. Uh, you're making a lot of profit here. And I hope that you guys continue to make those profits as we look farther into the markets later this week. Thank you guys so much for stopping by talking about the crypto markets with me as we continue to see some increases. This top five uh, on the market cap is really going to help us continue to increase and push farther. So thank you guys so much. I'll see everyone in the next one. Make sure to subscribe, like the channel and, uh, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think as well.